The High Republic. The galaxy is at peace, ruled by the glorious Republic and protected by the noble and wise Jedi Knights. As a symbol of all that is good, the Republic is about to launch Starlight Beacon into the far reaches of the Outer Rim. This new space station will serve as a ray of hope for all to see. But, just as a magnificent renaissance spreads throughout the Republic, so does a frightening new adversary. Now, the guardians of peace and justice must face a threat to themselves, the galaxy, and the Force itself. Sheridan, the Republic Frontier. Are you a Jedi? Are you? Aren't you? You're a Jedi. All is calm, all is well. You have the shiny sword thing. Are are you going to light it? The Simpai have heard your signal. Yes, we have. You do great things. Great, great things. The Force is with me. It surrounds me. Brings me peace. Have you come to protect us? That's what you do, isn't it? You protect the Republic. It stops me from screaming at the top of my lungs, like a crithine block horn. You protect the Republic? Are we in the Republic? Will you protect us? What are you doing? Why have you got your eyes closed? I need to concentrate. Why? Are you doing magic? I would like to see some magic. Will you show me magic? What's your name? Cranry. Nice to meet you, Cranry. I'm Keev. You need to leave. You need to leave right now. Leave? Why? What's going to happen? Is there danger? Shall I be afraid? No. Everything is exactly as it should be. Yeah, monster, monster, monster! Exactly as it should be? Are you sure about that? Looks to me like you were distracted. That you were open to attack. Just what are they teaching in the temples these days? I don't know. Maybe you should ask my master. What are you doing? Don't just stand there, lop off his other arm! Ah! Well, what do you think? I think you need to work on your lateral sweep, my Padawan. Sorry about the tree, Master Scare. No, you're not. No, I'm not. I just don't know why we're here. You should be recuperating after your accident, and I should be preparing for my trials. Unless you don't think I'm ready. That's it, isn't it? You think I need more time? Criff, ugh, I knew it! Have you finished? Sorry, Master. Good. I have two things to say. First of all, if you are to be knighted, you need to watch your language. And second, when it comes to your trials, why do you think we're here? Star Wars The High Republic There Is No Fear Chapter 1 Trial by Ordeal The needles have stood for a millennia. Many have tried to climb them. Many have failed. They are fragile and old. And I have hung a Tythonian pendant at the top of one of the peaks. I thought you said no one had climbed them. I said many had failed. 
You have one arm. You are to choose a needle and recover the pendant. You will not fail. And you will not give up until it is in your grasp. They're all so tall. Are you scared? There is no fear, only certainty. There is also such a thing as rhetoric. A Jedi does more than simply parrot ancient lore. A Jedi acts. Are you scared? You're not scared? Yes. I would be scared too if I could not fly. Really, I'm fine. Quack! Ah! Oh, that was close. You could have died. But I didn't. And I'd rather not. Which is why I need to focus. I understand. Uh, am I distracting? I will be quiet. You won't hear another word from me. Oh! Oh! There is my city! Do you see it? Isn't it breathtaking? Yes, it looks lovely. Wouldn't you rather be down there? Connery, what are you doing? Luckily, this is my friend, Keeve. She is a Jedi. She is not afraid. She isn't even sweating. Look. And now there are two of you. Excellent. The Force must really like me today. I would be afraid if I could not fly. That is what I said. Wait, can you hear that? What the vaps is that? Okay, now I'm sweating. What do you mean you don't know where Skia is? You know everything, Maru. Starlight Beacon. Master Chris, we are nine hours from the dedication of this facility. A facility, may I add, that is still without a marshal. I am currently organizing the arrival of hundreds of delegates, testing a beacon that would be heard the galaxy over and coordinating care for millions following the great disaster. I cannot be expected to track every master who decides to go off station. It's killing you that you don't know, isn't it? Is it that obvious? I'm just worried, that's all. Skia's not been the same since the Gnile battle at Kerr. And not just because of his arm. He's a tradition. It'll grow back. Maybe he blames himself for the death of Master Molly. That's not it either. I can't hear his song within the Force. He's holding something back. Remember Joa Molly in our own way we must, but to the force she has returned. Grandmaster Vita, Yoda, we weren't expecting you so soon. We have a meeting with the Chancellor to discuss Bokta manufacturing for the relief effort. After Hazel, we are desperate for the right corpse. We? Oui. So you finally return to the council, Master Yoda? Mm -hmm. Not finished on Starhopper I am. A different path I walk, as the Force leads. It is your path we must discuss, Master Chris. The council has convened and... Master Vita, I am honored, but like Yoda... Va, we are not offering a place on the council. We are offering you the beacon. Starlight needs a marshal, and that marshal is you. Lakaiki! You must help him! I can't. He's already gone. I'm sorry, Cranny. Truly, I am. Besides, we have other problems. The city! And there goes my trial. What are the odds the ducking pendant is still where Skier left it? I could still get it. I should still get it. Keith! Like I have a choice? Keith! Keith, look at them all! It's hopeless! There's always hope, 
cranny. Sometimes you just have to work for it. First things first, we need to know where these bugs came from. Starlight, this is Padawan Tranus. Come in, please. Tranus? Is skill with you? One thing at a time. A swarm of giant insects is ravaging Chardin. Giant insects? On Chardin? Are you sure? They've already tried to kill me once, so yeah, I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Let's see. Giant insects. Giant insects. It could be the Radidae, a species of star locusts that migrates through the area of space once a generation. But, according to our records, they instinctively avoid inhabited worlds. They're not avoiding them now. Something has changed, and I've no idea what. Well, have you thought of asking them? Them? Yeah, of course I've thought of asking them. Stand by. This is all going so well. The Force is not all. The Force connects. Wow. I hear them. All of them moving as one. Forward. Never back. Toward home. Toward... No! Keev! Friend Keev! Are you all right? I was wondering the same thing. Master Moreau, how... how do the Radity navigate? Do we know? The records aren't clear. Some scholars believe they follow the majestic pulse of the star in the next system. Yes, that makes sense, a pulse. They heard from thousands of years until something interfered with the signal. Something new. Starlight Beacon. What? I don't understand. You said it yourself, Crandy. You heard our signal, the signal Starlight broadcast to help settlers navigate the Outer Rim. The very signal that's drawing the Radity off course. Exactly. It's our fault. But we can get them back on track. And Kiev, we have company. Lots of company. Glad to hear it. Master Moreau, I've rigged the vector to replicate the beacon signal. The Radity will follow me away from Sharadin. A remarkably good idea, Padawan. Meanwhile, I'll recalibrate the beacon to broadcast on a different frequency. One that won't interfere with the swarm? No, one that broadcasts Arcadian jazz. That's sarcasm, isn't it? I didn't know you. Actually, never mind. Tren is out. Keith, what about us? Surely you're not going to fly all the way to the next system. I've never even left the planet. Stop flapping, Crandy. Why do you think we have autopilots? But your ship, won't they be cross? The Jedi, of course not. Vectors are easy to come by, but Zimpy cities are rare. That's it. Gently now, just a little higher. Padawan. Master, I- You took the vector? Yes. And where is it now? Um, up there? Somewhere? I told Crandy you wouldn't be cross. You're not cross, are you? Hmm. Scare? To a starlight, we need transportation. Immediately. Master? Are you in trouble, Cave? I don't know. Maybe. I've never seen him like this before. Master Skier, I know I didn't complete my trial, but the Simpy, the village. I know I should have checked with you, but there was no time. I had to save them. I had to do something. Padawan Tranis. You're Var Chris. Crit. Uh, stop. Swearing. I mean, wow, I've heard about what you did at Hatzel. You're, you're crackin' amazing. Seriously, just stop it. Master Chris has also been named Marshal of Starlight. I am in so much trouble. Look, I know I didn't finish my trial, but the Zimpy were in danger. Maybe I could take the test again? I'll focus. I mean, really, really focus. Are you done? Yes. In every sense of the word, I might as well pack my... Keeve Tranis. 
By the right of the Council, by the will of the Force, I name thee Jedi Knight of the Republic, Protector of the Light. Later, the dedication ceremony. This is intense. My friends, this beacon is a symbol of hope not just for pioneers on the frontier or for those who join the republic day by day i'm here i'm really here am i ready no starlight is a symbol of hope for the entire galaxy a symbol of trust of unity will i ever be ready same answer but i'm gonna try after all Skir believed in me. That's why he took me to Chardin. He knew what would happen. The Simpi, the Radity, all of it. Whenever you feel alone, whenever darkness closes in, hear our signal and know that the Force is with you. Know that we are with you. This is our promise. This is our covenant. For light and life. For light and life! For light and life! For light and life! For light and life! It was all a test. A test he planned through the Force. A test I passed. I won't let them down, Skir. Avar? The Order itself? Not now. Not ever. No! No! Dun, 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 dun. To be continued. So, uh, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. This was my very first, like, dramatic reading ever. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it, it was a lot of fun to do. I was not prepared at all for all the different voices, even though I knew what I was, I knew what I was getting into, but I didn't know what I was getting into, and it's like, you pick a voice for one character, and then... You don't talk as that character for a while, and then it's like, oh my god, how did I make that character sound? How do I get the the voice right? So it was an interesting learning experience for me. So uh, if you liked it, let me know what you thought in the comments below. I am going to do a separate video where I just review the comic, but I wanted this to come out first, so that way you guys knew what the comic was, and like what was in it, and whatnot, and the story. So that way you had a little background when I do my review, and that video will be out a little bit later today. So, uh, yeah, what, what I can say about it, it was fun for me to do this, and I think that might have added to my enjoyment of this, because just reading it straight, straight through wasn't as fun. Be a, being able to, you know, voice the characters, it kind of made them come to life in a little way for me, so I did, en uh, I did end up enjoying this comic, even though there were issues that I had. And then also there was a little bit of, like, internet drama. Uh, the author of this comic actually has me blocked, like you guys saw in the beginning of this video. And then, I, I mean, to my knowledge, we had never interacted before, at least to my recollection. Maybe we did, but I, I honestly don't remember. I, I, and this is something that I usually would remember. But, and then, you know, it, it is what it is. And so I always try to separate the artist from, you know, the work or, you know, the actor or actress from the movie that they make. Because there's plenty of actors and actresses that they've done things in real life that it's like, I, I fundamentally disagree with that. But hey, your movie was really good and it doesn't take away from my enjoyment of your movie. So I'm trying not to let it bother me too much or, you know, wreck my enjoyment of this whole process, but I, I don't know, it, it was, um, I don't know, a little bit petty, and I mean, <laughs> you can see for yourself and, you know, come to your own conclusions on how you feel about it, but just to me, I, it reads as, you're associated with this, so I'm not going to take anything you say seriously, and I'm not going to do a shred of research on you, you are on, you're in this one group, you're associated with these people, so I'm just automatically going to, you know, tag a label on you and make assumptions about you that just aren't true. So, I mean, it is what it is. It's sad to see, you know, that, and it, it does make me worry about, you know, the next chapter and the next chapter and the next chapter. 
But uh, we will see how this goes. So everyone, thank you so much for watching again. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, that's okay. Thank you so much for watching this far through. And if you haven't already, take a minute to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. And until next time, everyone, I hope you have a great rest of your day, morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are in the world. And may the force be with you because we are really, really, really going to need it. Bye, everyone. What's up everyone, it's Anna, also known as that Star Wars girl, and I have an Etsy store, so if you've ever wanted to own a print of my artwork, this is the place to go. As you can see, I have a lot of recognizable characters, from horror films, to heroes, to Star Wars characters. Some of the notable characters I have on here are Darth Vader, which I did a couple live streams painting, so you can own a print of this painting. I also have Luke Skywalker, the binary sunset version, one of my favorite scenes in the original New Hope movie. I have Darth Maul, which Ray Parks himself actually complimented me on Instagram. And then last but certainly not least, Ahsoka Tano. So if you want to own any of these prints, go right on over to my Etsy store. Again, that's the art of Anna, that Star Wars girl, or TSWG for short. Thank you everyone and have a great rest of your day. What's up everyone? I have a P.O. box, so if you want to send me some mail, go ahead and send it to Anna, that Star Wars girl, or TSWG for short, at P.O. box number 28171, Santa Ana, California, 92799871. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you so much.